I wanted to show you guys the difference between a, a Vespa, a Genuine, and a Tao Tao. So here we've got a Chinese scooter, we've got a scooter made in India, and we've got a scooter made in Italy. So this is a, a Vespa ET4. Um, this is probably one of the better scooters uh, in the line. I kind of have them in line best to not as good. So the Vespa, you know, it's a metal frame, does have some plastic pieces. Um, which is cool. Underneath the seat, you know, you got plenty of storage. This is a used, but these, these bikes are all used. Um, if I pull, if I pull the uh, seat out, you know, the construction is really good. We've got really good, let me focus this guy. The frame is really nice. You know, it's a, uh, all the welds and, there's not too many welds, it's more like a car, how it's uh, fitted kind of pressed together. Um, I'm gonna put this guy back in there. This is classic, the uh, no pets under the seat. Um, this this is a used bike and it is rusty, you notice that, um, but it's not terrible. Um, it's, it's a 2004 model, so um, it's gonna get rusty. However, uh, on the, um, the Tao Tao, Chinese stuff, these things rust really easy. This this bike is, uh, let's see, this bike only has seven miles on it. And here, let's look, let's take a look here. There's a good example. Right here, that's a sign of rust. It only has seven miles on it. So the uh, the Vespa is going to definitely last you longer. It's um, this is a 150cc. It's got plenty of power. However, the uh, the size of motors I've noticed haven't really it doesn't really vary. The uh, you know like as far as is this model faster because it's a better quality? They're all about the same. They're all about the same speed um, in that regards. Also, too, um, we've got the uh, the Stella. This is a two-stroke. If you're looking for speed, definitely look for a two-stroke scooter. Uh, the two-stroke scooters have a, twice the power. So this is this guy is a 150cc. It'll get up to speed about twice as fast as this Vespa 150cc. One's a four, the Vespa's a four-stroke, the Stella's a two-stroke. So remember that. If you want a faster scooter, get a two-stroke. Although that they are uh, almost obsolete, the two-strokes, and they will be um, sooner or later just because of missions but um, yeah the Vespa you can just notice in the seat quality too Let's see if I can get, focus that good yeah, the seats are good they don't rip or anything the the genuine you know nice seat as well but the um, the Chinese scooters they don't have that great of seats if you even look up under here they're just stapled kind of real cheap and if they sit out in the sun they'll uh, They'll dry out real easy. Um, when you're looking at like uh, plastic, like this is this is a lens standard from from when it was factory made, and it's still crystal clear. Um, and it's glass. Actually, that's not glass, but it's still crystal clear. And and see the gauges are also crystal clear. But on the Chinese scooters, these things will yellow so quick. Everything on here are yellow, just real cheap lenses. Um, so uh, remember that, you, if you have a Chinese scooter, you wanna keep it out of the sun. Well, really any scooter, but on the Chinese ones, uh, they also they get rot real easy. Um, but yeah, the, uh, so the, the Italian scooters generally are metal. This is a scooter made in India by the Genuine Scooter Company, and it's also metal. Of course, the Chinese scooter, the Tao Tao scooter is plastic. Um, the Tao Tao goes about 30, 35, it's a 50cc. And like I said, you're not gonna notice a whole lot of difference um, in speed. Um, but the major difference is, this, this uh, Tao Tao is an entry level scooter. If it's your first scooter, it's okay. It's, they're good for point A to point B type transport. Um, you know, they. This Tao Tao's got pretty good storage in it. 
Um, but yeah, just you can just tell like by the gas caps and stuff, it's just really cheap, you know. When you look at like the uh, the genuine, you know, it's, just, it's still still cheap, but better, you know. I'm just showing you like little things that that no, you notice, and then like the um, grab the key on this one. I know gas caps is not a big deal, but see the gas cap on this guy is plastic. You know. I know these are all stupid, stupid things I'm showing you, but they all mean something. When you're trying to buy, it just shows quality. But um, another major difference is tires. These tires are name brand. These are uh, Michelin tires. These are a good brand scooter. They come with stock with the Vespa. Actually, this is probably in stock, but most of the time they're gonna come with really good tires, Metzler, Dunlop. Um, and then when you're looking at like the uh, the Stella, you know, these are Continental tires, pretty good, name brand. But then when you look on the Tau Tau, you got no name brand tires, which, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't, I don't even know the name of it. But there's a, there's a good example. You notice uh, here, this is brand new, and uh, it's, it's kind of cracking and kind of not that great for a brand new scooter. And, uh, the handling on the Chinese scooters are super light. My wife likes the Chinese scooters over the Vespa and the Stella because it's easier to control. It's a lot lighter, of course, because it's plastic. But when you ride it, you can just tell like everything is just kind of soft and flimsy. Um, and then on the on the Stella, you know everything seems pretty solid. It's it's not a Vespa, but it feels pretty good. Um, general rides, but they are kind of heavy, especially with the motor on the right side. But on the uh, the Vespa, they're, they're pretty dang heavy, but when you ride them, it feels like you're riding a tank. They handle really good. Uh, it's solid going down the road. Um, kind of show you the difference in, in the controls. So like uh, these controls are just, you know, you can tell that they're cheap. Um, but whatever works, I mean, it's an entry level scooter. And then we've got the uh, controls on the Stella, which are nice, you know. You just hear hear the difference, um, and then the Vespa. You can just hear the quality. So let's, let's talk about uh, the pricing and durability. So the uh, the Tao Tao or any Chinese scooter, and again, it's an entry level scooter. Some of the components on them I would replace right away, such as hoses, the spark plug the oil, the valve stem caps. Once you do that, they're pretty bulletproof. Uh, most Chinese scooters have a GY6 engine, which is a uh, you know, really bulletproof engine. I don't care what anybody says. Um, but uh, remember, if you keep them in the sun, the lenses, all the little like clear lenses and seat and stuff start going to hell. Uh, unless you t take care of them, you know, wax them, armor all the, the rubber, not your tires, grips, or seat and uh, they'll last. A lot of people buy these, uh, like for instance, this, this scooter is 900 bucks, brand new. A lot of people will buy these and they don't, you know, they don't take care of them. They just treat them like a $900 scooter, which uh, then that's when they start going to hell. Cover them, change oil, treat it like a, a good investment. Move it, and then the, uh, the Stella, you, don't, you won't get that faded stuff, but uh, uh, faded on the lenses and stuff, but you know you still have plastic pieces. Or if this was a Vespa, this would be metal. But it's, the the Stella is kind of like a uh, a knockoff of an old Vespa, but it's still metal. Um, things I've noticed with like the the genuine, everything's pretty good quality. Gen, there's a genuine buddy too. Stella that's the Stella is the same. Uh, Genuine's the same company that makes Stella and Buddy. Um, so I even I know they look way different. The Buddy's plastic, it has a GY6. But Genuine scooters are really good, but I noticed like on the Genuines, their electrical system, they're, st they're better than a, the Chinese scooter, but just still not as good as like Vespa. Um, but these are good scooters, you maintain them just like anything else. Um, and then the Vespa, I've seen people not even maintain these and they, they last forever. Not saying you shouldn't maintain them. Uh, 
but pretty much the Vespa is where it's at if you can afford it. The price on these Vespa, like you can probably pick up a used Vespa for around 1800, a new one for 3500 all the way up to eight grand. And then the Stella, uh, I think I bought this one for two grand used and new, I think they're about three grand, I could be wrong. Um, the Chinese scooters, um, you pick those up anywhere from 900, 800 to 1,000, depending if you're assembling them or not. Um, and a used one, around 500. So you really don't lose a whole lot of money on the Chinese scooter. Um, but it, I would say the Chinese scooter is a great scooter if you're just going point A to point B. Um, and then the, uh, the genuine scooter is more of like kind of the enthusiast on the weekend. And then the Vespa is for more like you're definitely a rider. You ride the hell out of your scooter. That's all I got. Matt Rollin' Wrench.